Since the snow started falling, Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau has been traveling all over southern New England, showing us the impact of this brutal nor'easter. He continues our pinpoint weather team coverage with a look at what he's seen over the course of the storm. Photographer John Valella and I started in Woonsocket some 300 miles ago. Between then and now, it's been a winter roller coaster ride. About 24 hours ago, we couldn't see beyond our headlights on Route 95 unless there was an emergency vehicle in the distance or the occasional burst of thunder snow in the sky. Flash forward to today and plows were scraping down to the pavement, although some preferred a layer of snow should be left behind. Sorry, my mouth is frozen, but it's really fun. No cars, lots of hills. Skis were no doubt better than wheels. As vehicles, including four-wheel drives, ended up stuck in the slush, this one couldn't get out of an Elmwood Ave parking lot. So bad on Primrose Hill Road in Barrington that a plow plowed off the road and left a state trooper stranded right behind him. In downtown Providence, pedestrians replaced cars for most of the day, and they were on the road because in most places, their sidewalks are still covered in two feet or more of snow. As several officials said on Friday and into Saturday, this will be a multi-day cleanup event, which for this family on the east side is not all bad. As you can see now, people are back on the interstates, which look really good at this point. But keep in mind, state officials still would like you to stay off the roads as much as possible so they can get the rest of the snow out of your way. With the Mobile Newsroom in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.